Hello and welcome to Iowa and the Upper Mississippi River Valley, the UMRV, and our new home for a while. So what I've decided to do is take the money we had from Maypole and I've brought a farm here in Iowa. Now it's a little bit a little bit run down, some of it's run down. Some of it's quite new, and some of it just needs a bit of a clean up. Let's just have a look at what we've got here, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm planning with uh, the new series. I'd like to try and run a beef cattle farm here in Iowa, and we'll do some crops along the side with it, because we're going to need you know, things for feed and bedding and, you know, general money while we're waiting for our cows to uh, to grow. So we're going to be doing um, corn, probably lots of corn, beans, and we'll get something like some wheat or some oats. Oats sells well, and we can get straw for bedding and stuff like that. Uh, so that's what we're going to try and do. So this is going to be our primary um, beef cattle pasture. It'll hold around 500 head of cows, which is a good start. It's a lot. Now, we are running Maze Plus, so uh, it's not going to be easy. I do have my own sort of edited version of Maze Plus, so it's not going to be as, as brutal as what Maypole was. But again, we're going to start with <laughs> young calves and work our way up. We'll, we'll do them of different ages and sizes. But that's our... Uh, that's... That's the beef cattle pasture. Um, we can put dairy in there and get milk, but we're not worried about dairy. I always do a dairy farm, uh, so we're not going to do dairy this time. We've got a hay loft at the top here. This is where we're going to keep all our straw, our hay, whatever else we need in there. Nice and spacious. Cows down the bottom. This is a fermenting silo. And we can put our grasses in there and uh, have them ferment for us. The map, I believe, is plenty maize plus ready, as you'd say. I think it has alfalfa on it and a few other extra crops. So it's going to be uh, all good for us in that way. We do have a little bit of storage here. Not a lot. We can fit a few bits in there. It's probably more for... I can offer this one, but we can keep the odd small vehicle in there. Uh, back up here, sorry. Got a rack. Got ourselves some more storage. It's a lovely farm. And then we've got these uh, these old ones here, or these older corrugated storage barns. This one's a drive through out the other side on that one then at the back of the farm we do have a, a pigsty which we could use um, the pigs may may come later on down the line or I may decide we're going to demolish this and we're going to do something else with it we don't have anywhere for clamps at the moment for like silage clamps but we do have the fermenting uh, bins so we may not need it we'll see how that goes with uh, with maze plus we do have this big waste of space in the middle here where something was either being built or just been knocked down I'm going to have to try and uh, spend a bit of time clearing that out but I think we've got a pretty good start to the farm uh, we do also have way over yonder actually I think it's easier to get to from out the front what we'll do, I'll jump in the truck and uh, we'll have a little look at the lands we own and uh, a few other bits and bobs. Now at the minute, the only vehicle that we have is this International uh, Lodestar. That's all we've got. We needed something to get us from town. This is what I picked up. Now we own this field to my right, the empty one. And we've got the next field along. They're not very big. I think combined they're about 22 acres. 
I think it's like a 14 and a 6, if that. So they're ours. They're what we need to get started working on. And then round here, I'm just going to pan out a little bit. We have our dryers. Now this is our grain dryers. This could primarily be for corn. So we're going to grow corn for feed. And we're going to grow corn uh, to dry and to sell, hopefully. So this is a cool bit of kit, as they say. This is one is where we can go through. We can get in and out, round the back. Drop off and it'll dry. Now this one doesn't require augers. But I'm going to try and just use that for corn. So any other crops that we want to keep in store, we'll get bins full. Because we're not going to mix crops in bins for storage and stuff like that. We're going to try and uh, do things a little bit more proper than I normally do. I like to say realistic, but we all know that what I do never turns out to be very realistic. We do have two other bits of land as well. Let's just head round. That'll take us back up into the farm. That way to the cows when we get them. We do have a good bit of land. We've got the corn here on our right. That's us. That was connected with the farm. So when I brought the farm, that came with it. And then round the back. Oh. Try not to cut that too short. I've gotten so used to driving in cab lately <laughs> that I can't drive out a cab. Um, but we also have this field here of um, soybean. This is ours. Now these four plots of land are all we own at the minute. So we've got maize growing, we've got soybeans growing, and we've got two empty fields. And that is it. Now we still have, which looks like a lot, I know, 800 or just shy of 860 grand in the bank. But like I say, we have no equipment yet. And we have <laughs> no no cattle yet. So I'm gonna need to at least get some feed either brought in before we can start with cattle. Or we're going to need to do everything we can to build up some stock for feed so we can get the cattle in. I haven't honestly decided yet on what I'm going to do, whether I buy it in or not. I need to have a little look and think about what equipment I want to get. We're going to start off pretty small because we are quite small scale here. Two, these two small plots of land, those, those aren't very big. So we're going to want a little harvester, a couple of small to medium tractors, uh, some cow trailers, that sort of thing. Not going to go crazy with it. But one thing I do want to do before I do anything else is tidy up around the farm. Again, we'll just show you. Oh, just turn the engine off. We've got these bins. These don't work. I might replace them with some working bins so we can have uh, at least a small a small storage of crop here. I want to try and get rid of whatever this was, clear this out, and maybe build another shed here, something for storage, or who knows, maybe more bins. We might need a lot more bin space. But I think if we're going to be looking to do a lot of beef cattle, we're going to need a lot of feed area, a lot of feed storage. Now we can use one of these. And again, that means nowhere for machines. So we put some machines in there. I don't like leaving things out all the time. But we can put stuff in there. Now if you're interested, I'll just show you on the map where we are in the upper Mississippi River Valley. Now I'm sure by now most of you will have seen Upper Mississippi River Valley by DJ Modern. But this is the map. It's a 4X. There's lots to do here. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun on this. It's some different equipment, different styles. But we own 
the circle farm in the middle here. So we've got this plot, 28, 30, and 31. Our next logical progression would be 29 to extend the farm that way. That's got soybeans as well. If I click on it and have a little look, we could buy it, but that's 560 grand. So we wouldn't have much money at all to, uh, to actually buy the machinery we need. So we'll see how we're sitting once we've brought the machinery. But I thought this would give us a good enough start, if I zoom in, a good enough start as to uh, what we need and what we're going to do. Like I say, we need to, probably going to need to get some grass sewn in, which may even be what one of these turn into. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I've, I've got to think about how I want to do this. I've got a bit of time. Like I say, I want to change some bits on the farm. Just clear some stuff out. Nothing nothing crazy. Um, we're not using um, the Hoffbee animals or the um, Bally Spring animals. And although I think this is like a, a Maze Plus ready map with the extra crops, I don't think the pastures have grazing. I did try and add grazing, but every time I added grazing areas to these barns the triggers all disappeared and I don't know why that is because I don't know whether uh, something wrong with my nodes or, or something like that I may have a future fiddle with it again um, on a separate map and then if it works we'll transfer it over but I don't think because there isn't any actual foliage areas mapped in that there will be any because I had to add them in myself so I think it may be a case of um, number of nodes. But we'll, we might do that. So if we get the get the cows in, even the calves will look big. But that's just the way FS works. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that we might, we might need to know or share. I don't think there is. I think for a start, this is our farm. Run a Mace Plus. We're going to do beef cattle, we're going to do corn, we're going to do beans, probably oats or wheat, some sort of grain crop. And uh, next time you come in, hopefully I'll have picked out some machinery I want to be using. Where does the gate trigger? Right in the middle, there we go. We'll have some uh, vehicles sorted out, and uh, I'll have tidied up the farm a little bit. So uh, hopefully you, you have enjoyed the first look here. Sorry about stumbling through my words. It's been a while since I've recorded, had a lot going on personally, and uh, I've just sort of stepped away from recording for a bit. But uh, hopefully uh, we'll come back with a bang with this one, and uh, we'll clock up some crazy hours here. It's going to be fun. Uh, so hopefully uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.